Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. This is the Tiag A3440, a classic tape machine from the 1970s, much beloved by many producers. Lee Scratch Perry loved his so much, he immortalized it in an art exhibition. But this is not just a historic piece. If used creatively, you can use this in modern day songwriting. And I got to explore this when a friend from England came by. How, what are we doing? What's, your, what's the plan? I think we could try an experiment. We find a tempo, we play it an octave higher and at double the speed. Yeah, okay. And then we drop it down and just see what it does to the track. So one thing that's gonna change, I think, is like the, the drums. We're not pitching them up, so the yeah. drums will be super heavy, and everything else will then be in the in the pitch where we want it. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm up. I can't this. like it's it's That's in head. It sounds it. great. I don't know if it will sound great actually. It, what, what would be cooler is if we did it where the intro is at the normal speed, but then you push the button and it goes into the song. We start by making a slow track, quite the track, the tempo that we want it to be, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we just play the double. When the night <laughs> has come, is that too quick? And the land is dark. What's when sound? The to? moon is the only. No, it's. Yeah. It's gonna be like a ballad. Twenty minutes later. Maybe you start. Okay. Oh, start on another note and then go down okay. to it. So. Okay. Two. One, two, three, four. Zwischenzeit. Let's call this Zwischenzeit. Let's call this Zwischenzeit, the time in between. Ah, cool. That's cool. So we got that. We got that. Yeah, so now we need to rehearse to play it at double the speed. Let's pop over here. Now, I'm going to speed it up whilst you try and... There we go. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh. Love how it's over so quick. You know? Uh, that's, right. that's a chore. Oh, that was a chore. <laughs> that was an absolute chore. <laughs> right, let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Whoa. We have to find all the time errors. The bass sounds super cool. Yeah, the bass sounds cool. The drums also sound cool. Timing errors. What are you thinking? It's hard. Do we need to do it again? Should we do it again? I think we need to do it again, but. Yeah, yeah, we need to do it again. We just play it better, right? Yeah, we just gotta play it better. <laughs> this is a chore. Now, why do I keep saying that this is a chore? Well, I've trained myself to play slowly, minimally, and put a maximum of effort in very tiny timing differences. Basically, I play not much, but I play it with purpose. And when I had to play everything at double speed, it felt I had to play very technically, but still put feeling into it. And that 
Boy, it's one of the hardest exercises I've ever done. So it really felt painful, especially because of a long time it took to record this without errors. Because that is one thing that is hard to do on an analog tape machine, fixing all the mistakes you've done. So you better be good at playing, which also creates a different vibe. I mean, there is another option. We play... We play halftime and then speed it up. I don't know how that's, that would sound. It's the opposite way to what you'd think. Yeah, let's do the next song. Yeah, yeah, right, let's, let, let, let's, let's try let's to lay this song. down. Much, much later. Do you think this is also like a good cost-cutting measure? Like uh, this time, you know, yeah, you we studio, time. You play everything at double speed, people pull it down. <laughs> <laughs> or is it, is it just the chore that it is? Vision? <laughs> no. Zwe. Zwe. No. It's, it's, it's like one, just now you're doing double triggers. Just think of it. Zwe. Zwe. Z oh, yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Zwischen. 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 I'm not sure I'm helping. Schwissen. Oh. <laughs> There's so many words that this could be confused with, oh, like, no. like schwitzen really? times, What's like, that? like sweating times. Oh. Schwitzen <laughs> time. Oh, schwitzen time. Oh, schwitzen. Oh, you, oh, you just Zwischen. own it. Just own your accent. Zwischen. If you hear an Englishman sing in Zwischen, they will be like, Zwischen side. Okay, there we go. Zwischen side. Zwischen side. Is that, do I sound? Zwischen yes, You still understand what I'm saying, but yeah. I sound like an English person. Okay. Yeah. Own it. That's what I say. It's like I'm also like a German person singing English. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's what we need to do. This is the whole thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, it's true. So Put your love in there. <sighs> okay, I've got this. Zwischen side. Zwischen song on tape it was now time to explore Sam's idea. So you wanted to try to record at low speed and then speed it up right? Yeah I think yeah yeah basically the other way around. <laughs> yeah exactly but the drum let, let's let's figure out how the drums sound when we record them at low speed and pitch it up. My idea is, uh, is they're gonna be like piff puff piff puff piff puff. Yeah. So let's let's but see how they cool. Yeah let's it see how that sounds. Reggaeton. <laughs> We feel the reggaeton? Yeah. What do you think? Maybe with all the snare? Yeah. So if this is... Okay, so, but make it slower so it, it's not as fast when we fit. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty rough. Fine. And how does it sound when we pitch it up now? Maybe we have to go even a bit slower, but it does sound nice. 
Maybe. Sounds quite nice. It's got that, like, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> <laughs> je ne sais quoi. Well, I, the only issue is, it's just there's no bass to it. What about this? We record the drums in, a load of it, into it with the normal speed, and then we just do the double speed with the keyboards. <laughs> I want more. I want more. <laughs> I want a mini milk, I want a profit five, I want an overhand, I want a... Yeah, yeah, so right now we're recording the drums at the speed we want them to be. So this is at 15 IPS and then we drop that down and we play over that at the slow speed and then we pitch everything up again. Yeah. And that just hopefully sound beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to record 10 minutes of drums so we've got enough time to um, mess up because we definitely will when we're trying to play this song. Yeah. Drop it. gonna be weird. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. So let's rewind. Okay. Oh, weird. <laughs> We don't go with the initial plan. The yeah. song's pretty rich, so what we do... <laughs> the drums sound like a lindrum because it's like the sample down, the pitch down thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. I like this song. It was at this point that Sam had an idea that I sadly don't have on tape him saying, Hi Mark, can we try that TikTok effect where they pitch things down and make it slow? And that is where the very speed feature of this tape machine comes into play. Before, we'd only used half speed and double speed, going from 15 IPS to 7.5 or vice versa. With the very speed, it's possible to go for all the things in between. Gotta make sure not to record over the other bits. Ah, that's Gary. Bordstein Cantor Looking up, stars above, stars above. Ooh. Right. Stars above, stars above. Bordstein Cantor. That sounds very nice. track to Bordstein Kante, which you can find on our EP Pipe Dreams, which is out now on my Bandcamp. This tape machine, I have to say, is one of the most fun machines that I have. And I've got a few of them because this does sound like tape. 
there is something about TIAG or Tascom, which is the professional division that they spun off from the main company a bit later, that just sounds very good. All the preamps, both on the mixer that we use here, the Tascom mixer, and the input amplifiers on this overdrive nicely. And the tape overdrives rather nicely. It has an edge to it that today is something that is very interesting. If you start working in the time domain, playing things at different speeds, pitching them down, you get a mixture of feelings, textures, slowed down, crushed sounds. That's just absolutely fascinating. It messes with your brain a lot because you have to rethink how you do things and our brains were pretty fried after these two pieces. This machine is still cheap. I bought yeah. this for 600 bucks in service condition, which turned out not to be true. I just had to replace the belts though. These are very easy to service machines. If even I can replace the belt in one minute. I hope you enjoyed the techniques we tried and the music that came out of it. If you feel inspired to try something similar yourself, do tag me if you post something. I would love to hear what comes of it. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.